Imagine this, you are aboard a routine flight expecting a smooth ride to your destination. But within minutes of takeoff, disaster strikes, both engines fail and the plane begins to fall from the sky. This is what happened on January 15, 2009 when US Airways Flight 1549 er faced an unimaginable crisis. Today we dive deep into the story of the miracle on the Hudson. A story of split-second decisions, expert piloting, and what it truly means to be a hero in the skies. Whoa. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. This is Cactus 1549. We hit birds. Maintain 15,000 Delta 331. We've lost thrust on both engines. We are turning back towards the water. It was a cold winter afternoon when US Airways Flight 1549er and Airbus A320 took off from the New York's LaGuardia Airport. The destination? Charlotte, North Carolina, a relatively short flight with 150 passengers, 3 flight attendants and 2 pilots on board. No one could have imagined and predicted that within just 3 minutes, this routine journey would turn into a life or death struggle. A flock of Canadian geese collided with the plane and in an instant, both engines were destroyed. Passengers later described hearing a loud bang and feeling the plane shudder. The once steady hum of the engines was replaced by an eerie silence. Um, about a minute into the flight, uh, we heard, the lo uh, heard a loud boom and I heard it on the left hand side, not knowing that really it affected both engines. Um, I didn't know it was the birds. Um, to me, it felt like we were under attack. I've never felt anything so violent on a plane in my life. And it was not until Sully came on and he just said those three words, brace for impact. And once he said that, then everything else changed forever. Brace for impact. <sighs> what? Heads down, stay, stay down. down. Brace, brace, brace. Heads down, stay down. In the cockpit, Captain Chesley, Sully, Sullenberger, and First Officer Jeffrey Skiles faced a dire situation. With no engine power, they had only seconds to decide their next move. The Airbus A320 was now a glider, rapidly losing altitude. Sully's voice over air traffic communication. Mayday, 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 this is Cactus 1549. We hit birds. Maintain 15,000 Delta 331. We've lost thrust on both engines. We are turning back towards the Guardian. Sully initially considered returning to LaGuardia or New Jersey, but with the altitude dropping fast, it became clear that they wouldn't make it. Sully made a decision that would change everything. Without hesitation, Captain Sully turned to his co-pilot and said, We are going into the Hudson. It was a bold decision. Water landings known as ditchings are incredibly dangerous. Planes aren't designed to land on water and the chances of surviving such a landing are slim. But Sully knew it was their only option. He expertly leveled the wings and brought the nose of the plane up, reducing the speed as much as possible. The impact was so hard, but miraculously, the aircraft remained intact. The plane skipped along the water surface like a stone, coming up to a stop in the middle of the river. The plane was now floating on the river and the immediate threat was over. But the freezing water began to seep into the fuselage and the plane could sink at any moment. It was time to evacuate. The crew quickly opened the doors and the passengers scrambled onto the wings or into the life rafts. Despite the chaos, everyone remained remarkably calm. New Yorkers who saw the plane go down immediately called 911 and rescue boats rushed to the scene. In less than 24 minutes, every single person on board was safely rescued. So how did Sully manage to pull off such a near impossible feat? The key was his years of experience and intense training. Captain Sullenberger had been a commercial pilot for over 30 years and was also a certified glider pilot. His deep understanding of aerodynamics helped him land the plane safely with no engine power. His quick thinking combined with calm under pressure made all the difference. Every second counted in the high stakes situation. 
In the days following the emergency landing, Captain Sully became a national hero. The media dubbed the event the miracle on the Hudson. But Sully, ever humble, credited the entire crew, the passengers and the first responders for the successful outcome. The National Transportation Safety Board NTSB conducted a thorough investigation confirming that Sully had made the right decision by landing in the Hudson. Their simulation showed that trying to return to an airport would have likely resulted in a crash. The miracle on the Hudson is more than just a story of aviation heroism. It's a testament to the power of human resilience, experience and teamwork. Captain Sully and his crew showed the world what it means to stay calm in the face of overwhelming odds. And while we may never find ourselves in the cockpit of gliding jet over a river, this story reminds us that in life's toughest moments, the right decisions and a cool head can make all the difference. Thank you for watching. If you found this story inspiring, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more incredible stories from the world of aviation. Until next time, fly safe, see you in the next one.